The helo from AJA can be controlled by Skahoy devices. We'll show you that in this video. The helo is a device that will stream and record for you in the same little device looking like this. And with a quick bar, for instance, you're able to access all the functions which are otherwise available either from the front or from the web interface of the unit. But now we can break it out onto your favorite Skahoy controller integrated on a controller like an Airfly Pro, for instance, or a mini fly where uh, live fly and so on where it's a part of your your switcher surface that also gives you access to start and stop streaming and recording from the helo and um, the helo is right here it's connected to the internet it doesn't have any sources coming into it but um, it's not important for what we are doing right now because you will already know how um, this device works and you are interested in seeing how the quick bar will interface with it. So uh, in the software you can follow along and see how the uh, quick bar interfaces with it. So um, let's just start streaming for instance. Um, we can start streaming by pressing this button. So we are now streaming as you can see from the software interface right there. Likewise we can also do recording. So now we are recording. Let's just stop those two again like that. You also know the link function that can bind together recording and streaming uh, like this. So that can be enabled and disabled on this button. Likewise, if you want to choose the video source, you can select it from here. So we have HDMI, SDI. It's basically something that you're cycling through by using the four-way button, pressing the sides of this four-way button. Um, then we have a uh, audio source, which is also something you can cycle through using this four-way button. You see it changing the interface as well, so you know exactly which parameter it is that it's, uh, it's currently adjusting. Now, of course, you don't need the web interface because you have the quick bar to do those things for you. If we uh, press on the upper side here on this four-way button over there, we have basically a menu. So if I uh, press now, uh, I, I went, I'm, I'm cycling through options here. So right now, uh, we see what we started out using. But when I press it once, then I'm at the streaming presets. So I can now select streaming presets and you see that in the software as well, that the streaming profile will change as I am uh, pressing here. And you have more than just five streaming profiles. You can uh, hold down this key and access up to streaming profile number 10. And you see it's reflected in the software. If you go to the next menu option, it will be recording presets. And likewise, you can select your preferred recording preset by a push of a button on the quick bar. Accessing a preset six to 10 using the, um, the uh, menu key over here where the shift is on the, the lower side. Um, then on the next screen, we have presets for the, um, uh, the general presets for the Hilo. And uh, those presets are found over here. These are the ones that we're talking about. So there are like 20 presets. We have access to nine of them. And using the shift key will also give you access to trigger the factory preset on the final key right there. So that's uh, basically what you find in the uh, quick bar configuration. We have a default configuration for the quick bar. We have one for a RegFly Uno as well. On the RegFly Uno, you have four times as many buttons and that just gives you a more direct access to features really because the, the, the same pages that you have seen on this device are now just are spread out over more buttons so you have more direct access and this is the story over and over again with Skahoy panels. You can even take a microfly, it has two keys and you could use that to do all the same controls but with two keys obviously it's because you only want two keys or because you want to, to have a, like a menu key that will decide what the, the second key will, will do for you. And this is how you can find your perfect form factor in the Skahoy controller lineup. If you want it big or small, that's totally up to you because it's the same software features we have in the devices. Uh, I thought maybe uh, finalizing here by showing you what um, the actions behind this is. So um, we could just uh, attach the USB cable to the, to the quick bar here. So we were able to see 
how the configuration looks. So um, let me shut down this interface and show you the Skahoy firmware application in the background. It currently detected that we have a controller attached, so when I go to online configuration, I can see how this one has been set up. And as you uh, can identify, the default configuration for AJA Hilo is right there. It has also an IP address set and so forth. If I go to advanced, you'll see what is behind the scene. And behind the scene on any of these buttons, let's just pick X1, you see a number of actions, and um, those actions will be from a list like, like this one. There's an action for streaming, for recording, linking streaming profile, and those things that you just saw. And for each of these, there are typically a number of parameters like toggling on and off if it's a stream. What that means is that you could have a stream on and a stream off button instead of a toggle stream button, which we currently have. You also have hold down, actually, which is very useful if you assign this to a one of the Ethernet cheap eye link boxes where you can attach a switch to one of the inputs and there you might want to use hold down. So for streaming profile you can see um, this is the action chosen and there you have a number of parameters which is basically what changes between each key. Uh, if you hold down shift it's uh, in this case streaming profile 6 it selects. The same for recording profiles and the same for presets over there. So um, did I forget about audio or did I not? No, because we had audio on the first tab here. So if you want to see how that is working, then uh, you could go to one of these and see how on this key X4 we have uh, done something which is sort of advanced. And if you have followed some of our training videos, you'll know what forcing a four-way button to become an encoder means. It's basically done by adding this action, thereby saying that this four-way button should use its presses on left and right edges to increase and decrease through or cycle through the video sources, which are one of these. But it actually, what, what, what is true about this is that we could have direct access to choosing those if we wanted to, and then also coloring the uh, panel in blue. Okay, so why not just imagine that we wanted to do something on the actually connected panel right here? Because I can open something called local configuration, and by local configuration, I have direct access into the unit. So let me just show you what that would mean for, uh, let's assume that I wanted to, to basically uh, take uh, the, the button uh, X4 and, um, and X5. So I hold down shift and mark these two buttons, and now you see this is the actions for those two buttons. Um, let's let's remove the force HVC type action. Just drop it down there to remove it, and then instead assigning video source HDMI that would be the one, and then on the other one video source test pattern, for instance. So I'll now save that, and you'll see the update immediately to these two keys. That now I have a button for HDMI as the input source, and I'm pressing here, so I'm changing to test pattern instead and then I can go back to HDMI if I want. I could have added one for SDI. And there you see how Skahoy controllers is super flexible if you want buttons for, for input source selection. Use three buttons, you can do that, or you can have a single button or an encoder to select it by rotation. Skahoy controllers in a nutshell, you can apply all this to your um, LiveFly or AirFly or MiniFly controllers where it's integrated with switcher control or you can have it in a standalone panel like the QuickBar or RackFly Uno. Mm -hmm.